Basketball may be the only sport in season, but they were not the only Hartford student athletes playing games last week. This is the HartfordHawks.com Hawks Vision Weekly Update. Hello everyone and happy Thanksgiving. I'm Keith Arsenault with your HartfordHawks.com Hawks Vision Weekly Update. There was only one home game here in West Hartford last week as the men's basketball team hosted Mount St. Mary's. Let's take a look at the highlights from Wednesday night's game. The Hawks took the lead early in the game as Genesis Maciel finds Clayton Brothers for the lay-in. Hawks led 4-2. The Hawks were looking good here as well as Mark Wakama, the freshman, knocks this one out of bounds on the fast break. Wakama had two blocks on the night. However, Mount St. Mary's came alive in the first half. They go on an 11-0 run to take the lead. Here's Josh Castellanos with the deep three. Mount St. Mary's led by 22 at the break, but the Hawks tried to fight back in the second half. Nate Sigma in the lane there. Two of his team-high 10 points driving to the lane here again with another two. Sigma all over the court in the second half. Dishing to Corbin Rowe, two of his 10 points. However, the Hawks overpowered by Mount St. Mary's in the inside game. Raven Barber, two of his 13 points there. As Mount St. Mary's got by the Hawks 63 to 50 last Wednesday. The Hawks were back in action Saturday afternoon at Brown falling 59 to 52. Nate Sigma with a game high 17 points in that one. The Hawks take to the road this week, heading to Holy Cross on Wednesday and then back in Connecticut at Central Connecticut on Saturday afternoon. The Hawk women also had a rough week, falling to number two Notre Dame 98-43 in the WNIT semifinals. Junior forward Ruth Anduati made the WNIT all-tournament team after averaging 15 points per game over three games. The Hawks host Central Connecticut on Tuesday night before heading to a post-Thanksgiving tournament in Orlando, Florida, Friday and Saturday. Basketball may be the only Hartford sport currently in season. However, those teams are not the only teams keeping busy. Hawks Vision takes a closer look at a group of student athletes who took an afternoon to visit a local boys and girls club. That's all we have this week on Hawks Vision. Be sure to have a happy and safe Thanksgiving and check in next Monday for the latest from Hartford Athletics. For HartfordHawks.com, I'm Keith Arsenal.